Hey guys, what is up? It is Trigger Live, and welcome to another episode of WNKQ Presents Life. Uh, this topic today is a bit of a touchy one. Um, it's religion, and before I get into it, I'd just like to say, um, if I say anything that offends anyone, um, please take it lightly. I don't mean to offend anyone. Um, it's just my point of view. Hope we can all stay mature on this subject and uh, realize that everyone has a different point of view. Um, but now that that's out of the way, I hope you guys can... Uh, you know, at least be respectful um, to me, and I'll try to be respectful to you, and hopefully it all goes out well. But, anyways, uh, so religion. I'm going to uh, come out right now and just tell you uh, my point of view on it. Um, I'm an atheist. Uh, so I guess there's something new. Not, not, I don't think anyone knew that online, but um, yeah, I'm an atheist. I've been since uh, grade, like the end of grade 7, uh, started grade 8. Um... I go to a Catholic school, though. Uh, my parents are Catholic, and my dad is, uh, well, my dad is kind of an atheist. I don't know. I, I don't think he really knows. <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't really know. They're, they're just on the edge about things. Uh, my, da my brother is, um, I think he was, I don't know, he changes a lot. He, he believes in a higher deity for sure, or a deity, however you want to say it, but, um, it just it's it's sketchy of what actually uh, which deity he actually believes in but yeah so that's basically my my family and yeah my mom is a uh, catholic and i go to a catholic school um so obviously religion uh in school i don't take too seriously i finished it in like a week last year um i pretty much got like 50s and stuff i didn't really care and next year i plan to finish religion grade 11 and 12 uh, in about two weeks so that I, I'm just done with religion forever. I don't need to do that class anymore And even if I was religious religion is a joke as a class it should what sh what it should really be even for a Catholic school it, It's the same thing every single time is like oh follow Jesus. Oh all this what it should be is um, It should teach you about each religion um, and then that way, uh, kids at a younger age, like, it should teach you this when you're in kindergarten, even if it is Catholic school, teach about every single religion, and that way, people see that, um, pretty much every religion is alike, they have the same morals, the same, what, basically, all they want to do is have, like, peace on the earth, that's what every religion wants, and, um, so if people saw that, if people saw it from every point of view as a young kid, then I think there'd be a lot less uh, racism or, uh, I guess, um, what's it called when you're, I guess racism, even though it's against our religion. Um, and I think it would just be better overall, so uh, that's that's my two cents on at least the education part of religion. But let's get into the actual, um, I'm not going to really talk about other religions, but just why I'm an atheist. Um, it all started... In grade, I get a pretty awesome century gun kill there, but yeah, it all started in grade seven when my LA teacher said, uh, "Make a PowerPoint with uh, two opposing sides, and then uh, show both views, of, both points of view, and then come to a conclusion of who do you think wins." And people would do on like old and new hockey players, on like um, what else is there? Like certain brands of jeans versus others, like some stupid stuff, you know, grade seven stuff. But I did uh, science first religion, and that's when I really started to go into depth about um, just actually like looking at religion. Um, since then, I've probably looked at every major religion, and um, that's why it's kind. Of, I know it's kind of ign I don't really want to say this. It's kind of ignorant, but um, unfortunately, atheists usually do know about know more about religion than a lot of religious people. I'm not saying I know more about. Maybe you're a religious person and you know way more about me than religion, but um, for, for most of the part, I've, even when I talk about um, when I'm in religion in my school or when I'm doing religion and I'm with a friend, I usually know way more about um, Catholic or Christian uh, beliefs than they do when they're Catholic. They go to church and all that and I know way more. And um, uh, Sorry, I'm post-migration here, that's why it's kind of weird. <laughs> um, but what was I talking about before? I went on that little rant about me knowing more about religion than you. <laughs> uh, no, no, I, 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 you guys could easily know more than me. I could, you know, it could be even. It's just um, all dependent on the person. But, um, yeah, so grade 7, that's what I was talking about. That's when I really got into uh, looking at religion and science, and uh, I actually chose 
uh, science to win the debate in that PowerPoint, and my teacher actually got mad at me, and I had to argue with her that you can't get mad at me for, you never said that I had to choose religion if I was going to be doing this, and um, I actually told her off in front of the whole class. Uh, I hated that teacher. <laughs> I never had her for grade 8 or grade 9, but um, yeah, I hated that teacher. We, I owned her in the face, and uh, she was pretty, pretty embarrassed because I, uh, I brought up a couple points that she really had no counter to and she couldn't say anything to, and uh, it, was, it was pretty epic, actually. It's a, it's a good time of my school year. Um, and then grade 8, I kind of started, to, or grade, end of grade 7, grade 8, I started to realize that I, like, I just, I don't really think there's, you know, someone up there, and, uh, I guess from there I've kind of evolved into a full-blown atheist, but I don't go rubbing it in people's faces or anything, um, I try and, try and keep it to myself, uh, when talking about stuff, sometimes, sometimes I <laughs> lose a little control, and, uh, you know, but, uh, oh, stupid lag in this game, this is, this is the host connection too, because this is on theater mode, so I don't even know how that's possible, but, um, now I'm gonna say why it's hard for a lot of people to, uh, accept, uh, athe or atheism, even if they want to believe it, I know I'm gonna say why it's hard for a lot of people to believe it, is because basically an atheist, uh, for the most part, will believe that, um, when you die, you die, and there's nothing after, it's the end, and for a lot of people, that's an insane thing to grip, like, because all you've ever known is being alive, so it's hard to imagine being dead, <laughs> being not there, not existing. It's extremely hard for a lot of people to do. And um, a good analogy I came up when um, I was camping, because I have a lot of free time to camp. I was thinking about this stuff. I was reading um, a book on the evolution of selfishness, and um, it's, it's called The Selfish Gene by, uh, who's it, by Charles Darkin, I think? and uh, Or Dawkins, maybe. Um, but yeah, I was reading that book, and yeah, I came up with this kind of analogy. Basically, think about before you were born. Okay, let's let's just pick a random... Okay, World War II, random time in history. World War II. Think about yourself at that time. You can't. You didn't exist. So, just... <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. It, it makes sense in my brain. I, hopefully, I can get this message across to you guys. So, at that time, you didn't exist. And you didn't know you didn't exist because you didn't exist and uh, there's, there's nothing more to it simply when you die that's it's gonna be exactly the same as when you were not born um, and that's basically how I uh, how I see uh, death being is just uh, dying you know being put into the soil and uh, decomposing and uh, yeah life life goes on I could be completely wrong there could be a deity up there or a god of some sort and you know, when um, when I go to the gates, and uh, he's there, and he says, you weren't a, uh, a follower, or something. But, you know, that's one problem I do have with religion is... Religion? I said riff <laughs> uh, One problem I do have with religion is... It's just... Basically, I think all religion um, should be not... You don't believe in us, you're going to hell. That, I don't, in my opinion, that's the worst way to take it. What I think it should be is... Um, live your life... Um, how you see according um, with respecting others, you know, following at least a, a code of conduct, uh, being respectful, and all that, and then you will go to heaven, or, uh, or wherever you think you're going to go. And I don't think it should be based on what you believe, but on uh, what you live, rather. And uh, one last point I want to put is, religion, in my opinion, kind of takes away the value of life. Um, in my opinion, you, wor you work towards an afterlife, and you don't really pay attention to the life you're at. Um, so I am glad that I'm kind of free of that. I, I live this life to its fullest because I think it's the only one I have. I could be wrong, but I want to live it as if it's the only one I have. And uh, yeah, that's my two cents on it. I know it's a very deep commentary. Uh, leave your suggestions or leave your comments below about what you think. If you feel uncomfortable about this, um, you don't have to talk about it. And if I offended anyone, I am sorry. I tried to keep it as um, as easy and, and respectful as possible. I hope I uh, followed that. Hope you guys enjoyed.